experts. This, of course, is just one piece of the fallout from special counsel Robert Mueller's report released last week. It spurred a wide range of emotions from a wide variety of people. Our Sinclair national correspondent Christine Frizzell looks closer at the plans of action taking shape behind the scenes. In Washington, the post Mueller report era has begun. The question of what comes next producing quite a few answers. One may be a Democratic Party divided over the question of impeachment. I do believe that the evidence is just overwhelming that Donald Trump has committed these offenses and that means we should open proceedings in the House. Well, the avenue is not impeachment. The avenue is further disclosure to the American people. What Democrats do agree on, as outlined in a letter from Speaker Nancy Pelosi, that they'll continue aggressive oversight and proceed down a path of finding the truth. Pelosi insisting the full, unredacted report be made public. This, just as President Trump and the Trump Organization file a lawsuit to block House Democrats from gaining access to his financial records. Are you worried about impeachment, Mr. President? Yes. Republicans, on the other hand, focused on different details in that report. Namely, that parts of that infamous Christopher Steele dossier that was financed in part by the Hillary Clinton campaign were largely untrue. A New York Times report suggesting the release of the Mueller report has, quote, underscored what had grown clearer for months. The sensational claims in the dossier appeared to be false and others were impossible to prove. The dossier was used in part as evidence to obtain a FISA warrant to surveil Trump campaign advisor Carter Page. This started on a false premise. This started with the Clinton paid for dossier that was used to get the warrant to spy on the Trump campaign in the first place. So they came with this deep bias against the president. That's what we need to look into. A subdued Capitol Hill for now, with Congress not returning until next week. Christine Frizzell, CBS 2 News. Well, Christine Frizzell is one of our four Sinclair Broadcast Group reporters working every day for us in Washington, D.C. Our goal is always to add context and meaning to what happens in Washington and show how it affects us here in the Treasure Valley as well. If you'd like to listen to the complete Mueller report yourself, you can head to our website, IdahoNews.com. This podcast can be found in the Nation and World section of our homepage.